back again with the third part of my extra life charity live stream um i decided to play tower of guns i haven't played this in a minute actually i had a friend who uh i was over at his place not too long ago and he was actually playing this on his xbox one and it made me want to play it again um this game is actually i fairly enjoy this game um Finally got a new gun. Well, that'll be nice for the next run. Alrighty. So I don't try to make the par for any reason. I just like having fun playing the game. So apparently I'm I'm a person dropping off recycling in this in this run. <laughs> uh, I do like the randomness of the of the storylines in this. It is rather hilarious. You know, it goes with the whole randomly generated. Ow! Ow! That that did a number. Ow! Damn, my fifth run might not be so good. I like this gun because it reminds me of a flat cannon from a... Uh, from an old game called Unreal. Which, oddly enough, it uses Unreal Engine, so... <laughs> Go figure. Ow. does that mean? Use tilt. Oh. That's what it means. That's kind of dumb. I mean, I guess if I had had the, the triple jump ability, I probably could have been able to get out of that, but... Um, when I was watching my friend play, he used the, uh, the uh, environmental damage and vulnerability, and he practically said, I mean, it breaks the game when you do that. Uh, because of so much stuff that is environmental hazards and everything. And I agree with them. It really does. It really does break the game in certain aspects.
See, like, I don't think those lasers will hurt me. Because they're consider I would say that that's considered environmental. Oh, but you just have to destroy the... Okay. I wonder what that new gun uh, that I got does, the hand cannon. Ow. Okay, really? I can't jump over those? Wow. Well, I get to, I guess I get to answer my question now, what that gun does. Damn, that's like the worst. I was doing pretty good these last few runs that I've actually been playing. Okay, let's see. Let's try this gun out and see what that does. Although I didn't really like the thought that I'm some old lady dropping off recycling. <laughs> okay, not the greatest. It's definitely slow. That's going to be an issue. And it hurts me if I get too close. I'm not even reading the story. Oh, well, these things are archived, and I do export them, so I could always reread it later. <laughs> okay, let's see. kind of hilarious. It's like I'm shooting bullet bills. <laughs> I do like how powerful it is. Hopefully, uh, once I can upgrade it, it'll shoot a little bit faster. And it's a little less sporadic than the other gun that I had. I do like the flat cannon thingy. Whatever it's called in this. It's a flat cannon. That's right, those are considered environmental spike balls. Are considered environmental. So they don't hurt. Joe. Well, I wish I had the coins for that. Oh, 
Last time already, holy crap. Dr. Current certainly wasn't fun. Try one more run with this gun if I don't if I can't get any further with it, then I'll try another gun. Go back to maybe the flat cannon. What I should have been doing was focusing like right away on the, the bottom part of the, the turret because that's where it seemed the most damage was being taken. XP rate up. That's a good start. Ooh. Secret area. Nice, nice. Double nice. get up there oh. okay so there were two thingies it's like a health bonus and then there was another one down here health bonus or attack bonus Damn, what do I, what do I need more? Okay, good. I thought it was gonna give me fall damage. I 
I think since I got wrecked last time, I'm gonna go with the health bonus. Got him this time. If I remember right, the vampiric mod, I think, heals you as you kill enemies. Which is fantastic. usually think there is anything in the boss rooms. Okay, no. And I'm not one to care for the pars either, so... I tried that shit in Doom, like, way back in the day. I was never that good at that. I could never bum-rush through a level. I love that environmental invulnerability. Can walk through lava, no problem. <laughs> me yes yes something is Oh, 
Oh, hell. Speaking of Doom, this is kind of Doom-esque, in a way. Like... I, I don't know about you guys, but I'm excited for the new Doom. Like, I can't wait. That game's gonna freaking be awesome. I literally am. I'm shooting freaking bullet bills. Fuck you! Get wrecked! By my bullet bill launcher! Oh, give me all that. Freaking upgrade to level 5, please. Damn, super close. Okay, what's that? Yeah, let's go for it. The more upgrades, the better. Bop. What the? What did I do? Ah, oh, come on! I just want level five. Yeah! <laughs> Ow! Oh, look at that! I healed the damage just because this is my vampiric mod. <laughs> nice! Nice, nice. Christ. Okay, don't have jump mods, so I can't jump down there, so we gotta go down here. Oi! There's a coin there, but it, like, went backwards. And I don't know what those do, but I'm assuming they hurt. was fun. <laughs> you know, when I read the description of this game, like, um, they said, like, a first-person bullet hell. I didn't know how the hell they were gonna do that. And now I know. Okay, so that's, like, in the center.
Aw, oh, what? It's not letting me grab that. Oh, was that literally all that was down here? <laughs> I guess I wasn't supposed to go down there. Well, I mean... Stupid fall damage. It's like I got launched into the air. That shouldn't count. Oh, I've lost them already? I want to know what that does, but then I don't want to know what that does. Enjoying this bullet bill launcher. <laughs> it's good when you get when you get it upgraded because the explosions are just wreck. Warehouse, huh? like this that I can't see. I did see something as I fell down here, though. Does that emit light? I saw a door down somewhere down there. Screw it. It's probably not worth the jump. Oh. 
god, giant cannon, giant bullet bills. was like all the goodies that I just missed. All hell. Mm. Oh wait, is there still one above me? Oh. I guess so. Oh, I can't get back up that way because my jump height is too short. Oh, well. It's better just to push on forward anyway. That Vampiric mod is really helping out. It's keeping me alive. <laughs> There was still one up. <laughs> Boss time on. Oh, is that the? Well, that's those making the noise. Okay. I was wondering what that noise was. I like vampiric mod. That is helping me stay alive. Hug bots. Nice! No health upgrade this time, huh? How the hell is someone supposed to complete that in two minutes? Oh, I'm ha I am having Doom flashbacks. Stupid, ridiculous part. At least you could run in that, though. I wonder if the precise mod probably increases accuracy, I bet. Oh, that magnet mod just helps out a lot. Ah, no flamethrowers. 
well isn't that just like an onslaught of shit? myself with my own weapon. damage. Okay, thank you. Good God. That guy just wouldn't die. I'm assuming there's something up that way. But you have to do this like ridiculously crazy platforming thingy. See if I can get up there. <clears throat> ah! Yeah, probably not the smartest I think I did I could do without the fall damage invulnerability. vulnerability. Ow. Yeah, screw that noise. those flipping guns. The stupid like purple homing balls.
Oh, that's dick if I can't actually get up there and get that. Really, the, the magnet mod doesn't help with that? Tried to cushion the blow. That sucks, it's like a speed up or something like that. I don't think I can grab it, because I can't jump high enough. That's dumb. That's like, not even that high of a platform either. Is there something I could like, bounce off of? That's kind of weird. It like elevates me right here. Okay, don't think I can get it. Yeah, screw it. Damn! Uh, that is one of those instances with a jump thingy. The jump perk comes in handy. That was probably not the smartest of things I could have done. I just literally just took all that in the face.
Hey, I did it! Is there anything worth it up here? the power of invulnerability to environmental damage makes that boss easy mode oh no screw that I like my grenade thingy Not even paying attention to the story or the dialogue of what's going on. <laughs> All I know is I'm some dude dressed like a cowgirl, apparently escaping from zombies, trying to help some robot that's in the sanctum, apparently. Oh. 